So here we are in the main screen of the JAL test software. As you can see, there are four connection types under the auto detect uh, mode for vehicle connection. Um, we've got our OBD connectors and we've got our heavy duty nine pin and six pin connectors. Uh, and this is one of the features that uh, we get a, a lot of good feedback on is the ability for this thing to go through and scan and detect fault codes. Um, so when you click on a connection type, we'll go with the nine pin here. Uh, you have the option to either do a system scan only or a system scan plus read all the fault codes. Now, if you do a system scan, it identifies all the modules that are available on that vehicle um, and connected to that vehicle. You can get then go in and connect to whichever module you like. Uh, if you do system scan plus fault codes, uh, what's really cool about that is not only does it identify all the modules on the vehicle, but it also gives you the opportunity or it also shows you you um, any fault codes that are are present in any of those modules um, at the point of connection so uh, we'll go ahead and do a uh, an auto detect or auto uh, scan and uh, and read fault codes on a, a simulated uh, ECM here uh, this is a Freightliner Cascadia uh, 116 um, and as you can see here, it's it's going through the the wheel is spinning right now. It's it's going through and identifying each module that exists on this vehicle. Um, and you can see they kind of auto populate below, um, just in, in in the window here. And uh, yeah, you can you can see as we go through here that uh, we have some fault codes popping up. This simulator. Um, has some fault codes uh, built in so that we can see the functionality um, as we're going through the simulator here. Uh, but yeah, you can see that it's, it's gone through and identified uh, multiple modules on this on this vehicle, starting with the Detroit Diesel um, DD13 uh, engine control module right here. Uh, below that, we've got our after treatment control module. Um, below that, we've got our uh, powertrain controller. We've got a transmission controller, um, anti-lock braking system, adaptive cruise control, body controller, instrument cluster, uh, steering controller, uh, radar, ADAS system, um, and uh, driver assistance system, um, telematics module, climate control system, heating, uh, ventilation, AC, and uh, any other modules, passenger door module even driver assistance camera, all those individual modules are have been identified. Um, and then any codes that exist in those modules uh, will will show up underneath each of those uh, each of those module headings. Okay, so at this point here, we can, um, it, you know, we can go through and look at uh, freeze frame data for any of these fall codes depend, you know, no matter which module it is we choose. Um, we can get some some help on that uh, uh, on that fault. So if you click on the question mark here, for example, it's going to give you um, a, a look at uh, at the um, you know common causes of those problems. And then we've also got troubleshooting information, troubleshooting trees uh, built into the the system as well. So.